So uh, back in about 2006, around the time I was still in school, um, I was playing with the band off and on, and I got a call one day from Tyler saying, you know, hey man, we're going to go on tour, it's our first tour ever, we're going to go out east, it's going to be great, and naturally I was like, hell yes, this is so much better than chilling in school, sign me up. So when I got to Tyler's house, uh, he had this giant Winnebago parked out front that he had rented. It was called the Hurricane, it, it said it on the side, and we were all super pumped because we had only been in SUVs driving to all our gigs in the past, so for the first time we got a bed, we got a fridge, amazing start to our trip. So everything's packed up now and we're on the road and I start asking questions. I hadn't asked any up until this point and I realized that we only had like two shows on this quote unquote tour. Um, one of which was in Halifax, the other one was somewhere in New Brunswick. So the first show in Halifax was great, blah, 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 we did our thing, amazing. Um, last day of our two-day tour, we pull up to this shit club in the middle of God knows where, and all of us are really down about it. We're like, man, I, I don't know how we're going to play a show in this place, uh, this seems really sketch, just don't want to do it in general. Our tour manager at the time, Johnny Bang comes up and is like, hey guys, so we're only getting paid like a hundred bucks on this one, so uh, if everyone just kicks in 20, we won't have to actually play the show and we can just drive home and have enough money for gas. Instantly, all of us were just like, yes, fuck yes, get us out of here, John. We pulled out our money and gave it to him. He's like, okay, I'm just going to go and tell the promoter we're not going to play. So he hops in the front seat and immediately crashes into a snowbank. Big crash, whole undercarriage of our RV is like crumpled like a tin can. And at this point, we knew there was no getting out of this show. So naturally, we're all a little bit rattled at this point. And we walk into the venue, and there's like three people in there. They all look super drunk. Um, the bartender might have had an eye patch. I'm not sure. Anyways, we start to sound check. And this guy at the bar turns around and is like, Hey! Hey! You boys better not be uh, planning to sound check through our OHL game out here, because um, uh, these boys will shank you. He seemed pretty drunk, and again, the bartender may or may not have had an eye patch, so we did not sound check. Finally, 8 o'clock rolled around, it was showtime. Two people showed up and really loved it, so, you know, that was a bonus. I'm glad they got something out of it. I'm pretty sure Diggy had fun, too. Now that the show was done and Johnny had got the RV fixed, we went back out into the parking lot to get into it and leave forever back to Toronto. Uh, before we could get in, however, there was a meth head out front of our bus, like, asking me for cigarettes, and then he asked me for vegetables. This guy was super confused and super crazy, scaring the shit out of all of us. So we weaved our way past him, got in the RV, and told John to step on it. John hits the gas, and we hear, like, a rumbling in the back. I suck my head out the window, and the meth head is, like, hanging onto our trailer like he's Robocop or something, getting dragged behind us down the road. I could not believe it. John starts going left and right. Finally, shake this dude. He kind of rolls like a tumbleweed behind us, and we're out of there. Back on the road, back to Toronto, and that was our first tour ever.